I could get everyone's attention, please, we're going to start with our memorial service. I thank all of you for coming down and joining us here. Uh, I noticed there are so many different veterans and civil organizations here. I don't want to name everyone and then forget that one, but I want to thank you all for being here. Um, that means a lot to us as veterans and as citizens of the United States, as people who love this country and love the flag that we fought so bravely for and served under. Uh, I want to introduce myself, for those of you who do not know me, um, I'm Fabrizio Fab Morjon more from uh, the Tri-State Naval Ship. I'm the captain over there. Um, and next to me is the commander of Russo Fleming Post, VFW 161, Colin Tunney, and Chaplain Street Cronum is here. Um, thank you for sponsoring and, and holding this here uh, in lieu of what potentially could have been worse weather out there. Uh, don't let that fool you. The sun is shining in here for us all the time on this day. And over the memories of those men and women who served so bravely. At this time, I'd like to ask Chaplain Chronomus to please lead us in the invocation. Uncover. O Lord Almighty, remember those who lived and died fighting to protect the dignity and the freedom of mankind. Let our spirits be proud of them, let our hearts be compassionate and our minds clear and determined in giving them honor and respect. And let us be dependent on the loving kindness of the Lord our God. As we remember the departed, let us be true soldiers in war and in peace. Let us be courageous protectors and true guardians of freedom. Let us be the true masters of brotherly love. O Lord, guide us in the way of moral responsibility. Enlighten us who are true believers in ethics and justice. Let this day be a day of commemoration and honor to those who sacrificed their lives in order to give us liberty and our nation's security. Remember them, O Lord, in your mercy and have compassion upon us. Make us a generation of wisdom, discipline, and faith. We pray in your holy name, amen. 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 This time, I'd like to ask past commander of 161, Hank Dunn, to please come lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. As Fab says, thank you all for coming out. It's good to see you. A lot of friendly faces and a few new faces. Thank you so much. And, and particularly, I uh, want to thank Mayor Sicalese and the council for coming out today. Um, the mayor's father was an army veteran in Vietnam who fought in Vietnam. All right, um, detail, catch, put, present, <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flags of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, a nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Every once in a while, you got to direct me. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we don't have the bands with us today, unfortunately, because of scheduling and logistics. However, I do not want to pass up the opportunity to recognize our flag with the national anthem. We all learned it in school. We may not have the best voices, but we'll do the best we can. If everyone will please join me. Detail, tip, hut, hand salute. Oh, say can you see? By the dawn's early light, was so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the Yeah. 
At this time, we pause to remember and honor those veterans from the tri-state area who served in the armed forces and who are no longer with us today. wish to honor them and remember them. We did place wreaths at the monuments earlier prior to this ceremony. I want to thank those of you that did and were able to join us up in Arnold Square Park. Wreaths were placed at the Gold Star Mother's Monument, the Daughters of the American Revolution, our Civil War Monument, World War II Monument, Korean War Monument, Vietnam War Monument, War Against Terrorism Monument, the Disabled American Veterans Monument, and at the World War I Memorial Monument. At this time, we are going to honor those fallen and those deceased with taps led by Al Gessner and Stacy Jurgle. Detail, ten, hut! For those of you that would like to take a seat, just a short comment. I'd like to invite uh, Commander Tunney to just say a few words about today. Hello, everybody. I got some, some literature here I'd like to share with you. Thank you all for being here. Memorial Day as we know it today was born as Decoration Day in Waterloo, New York back in 1866 when Henry Wells, a local drugstore owner, suggested that all business close for one day to honor in a solemn and patriotic manner the fallen soldiers who had lost their lives during the Civil War. A group of widows decorated fresh graves with wild flowers. The townspeople made wreaths and crosses and placed upon the headstones flags that there were flags that waved proudly at half staff. And an American tradition was born. Now, nearly 160 years later, we gather on this proud day of remembrance and ask that you join me in not only remembering those who made the ultimate sacrifice for this great nation, but in truly reflecting on their legacy. There's been no other nation on earth whose sacrifice has been greater than ours. Nowhere in the pages of history has there been a country before ours that has paid a higher price for the freedom. From the Atlantic to the Pacific coast, this is the land of the free, ensured by generations who believed America is worth defending, worth dying for. Today we set aside our personal beliefs regarding politics, war, come together in tribute, and respect all those who afforded us this very great opportunity to gather freely today. And I would be remiss not to mention the families left behind. Their sacrifice is also felt, and they too have earned our gratitude and appreciation. So today, let us recommit ourselves to keeping the memory of our fallen alive. Let us ensure our youth understand at an early age that their freedom was paid for at a great expense. Let us work to educate others on the true meaning of Memorial Day 
and let us vow to stand up for those who are unable to stand up for themselves. On this sacred day, as we stand united as a nation under old glory, the silent sentinel of freedom, we see the faces of our fallen embedded in our symbol of red, and white, and blue. And we thank them and them alone for our nation's past and for the hope and memories that continue to propel us into the future. God bless our departed heroes, their families, and God bless America. Thank you all for coming down to 161 for our ceremony. Again, thank you all for coming. I'm going to allow our chaplain here to give the benediction and close these ceremonies. Once again, you're welcome to stay. Um, and I want to thank again 161, folks 161, for allowing us to have these services here. Please stand, uncover. Almighty God, our gratitude for your generosity grows with each passing day. We acknowledge this day's special blessings. We have honored those who now enjoy your eternal embrace. We ask your blessings on all that are present here, especially do we seek your consolation for those recently bereaved. May your grace be with them and with us now and forever. And if it by your will, may we all be favored to gather again in these circumstances and in this company before another year has passed. Amen. Amen. Once again, many thanks to all our organizations and veterans who participated today in our service. God bless you and God bless America. Yeah. Woo! Thank you.